Hi, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back to the channel. Happy birthday to any of you celebrating a birthday today, Sagittarius. Now, I've had to change my my space a little bit because I had to free up my table so we could eat on it. Sagittarius, a weird message today. Um, Spirit has asked me to use three tarot decks for your read today. I'm not absolutely certain why. I have actually no idea why. I have one oracle deck and three tarot decks, and it was very explicit. So Sagittarius, let's see what Spirit has to say. Thank you guys for your generosity. Thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes. It's it's there, Saggy. You know it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Sagittarius, what's going on? And why do we need three tarot decks, Spirit? Why? Oh, the card Y came out. Why, Spirit, do we need three tarot decks? Because Spirit's building something. Hmm. Oh, peace and yin, an unfinished symphony. Oh, somebody wants to mend things with you, Sagittarius. Somebody wants peace with you, Sagittarius. And somebody wants to build with you, Sagittarius. Now, what's going on? And why do we need three tarot decks? Spirit's telling me to separate the cards. So if you can't see them, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Why do we need three tarot decks today, Spirit? I've never really seen that, Sag. So it's a special message. What's going on? Why do we need three tarot decks today, Spirit? Hmm. Accelerated motion. Hmm. Communication. Hmm. Why? Because there's some challenges and obstacles. This is the waiting game. Waiting for a new beginning. Well, here is divine wisdom. Somebody is becoming aware that Spirit is telling you to choose wisely. Use your wisdom because somebody wants to mend things. Some is hoping you choose them, Sagittarius. Clarify the obstacles and the challenges. I'm just going along with whatever Spirit's telling me. I'm not doing this. So I have no idea why we're doing three tarot decks. I've never done it. As far as I can remember, I've used two, but never three. Clarify the obstacles, the challenges. Clarify the obstacles. Because somebody is spying on you or somebody is learning about some kind of, ooh, that's the obstacle, the challenge. Hmm. Clarify the devil. Greed. Or somebody's holding back. Hmm. Some kind of... Let's see. Hmm. The sun... Hmm. This obstacle, this challenge, I'm not sure what this is saying yet. Tell me why we're doing Because there's... Oh, jeez, the strength. Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't know, Sagittarius, you could be like, this could be your birthday. This could be you celebrating. This could be an occasion, uh, getting together with friends, dating again, or celebrating. Hmm. I don't know. This person's hurt. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. So something is going on here, Saji. Oh, because <laughs> you have options, Sagittarius. You could be celebrating like your birthday or Christmas or New Year's or getting together with friends. Somebody knows you have options. Hmm. Is love here, Sagittarius. Options in love. Somebody might be thinking that you've got new love, Sagittarius, and they're scared you are. They're scared that you found new love or trying to figure out the truth is somebody's got the sword out here. Hmm. Hmm. Sag, it's almost looking like you do have someone scared that you're having sex, that you found new love, that you've got several options here, and the truth is, is that you do. Somebody could be watching you online. They could be spying on you. Uh, whatever you're doing at work, you could be, they're trying to figure out if you're collaborating with someone. Hmm. What's this all about? Hmm. Ooh. Oh, Jesus, Saj. You're manifesting happiness or someone need... Oh, yeah, Saj. Hmm. The challenge, the obstacle might. That's the challenge and the obstacle. Sagittarius, someone is thinking you've got options in love. And the truth is, is that you do. Well, many of you. Someone is very hopeful that you are not in a connection, Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. That'd be the truth. Sag. Hmm. Hmm. Now, what the hell is this? Hmm. So, here we have it, Sagittarius. The obstacle, the challenge is someone... I don't like it, Sag. Hmm. There could be, uh, oh, Jesus, Sagittarius, somebody from your person's past, not your past, your person's past is some kind of problem here. It could be an ex-person of theirs trying to block this person from coming toward you. Now, Sagittarius, when the past card comes out, I just want to say, it doesn't mean someone from your past is trying to return. It could be who the person coming into your life, your new love. That's what they're dealing with. An ex or some kind of divorce or some kind of uh, legal issues. Mm-hmm. And they are spying on you. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're insecure. Oh, my God, Saj. That's why Spirit wants three tarot decks. You got a lot going on, Sagittarius. 
There's three options here, Sagis. That's why Spirit wants three tarot decks. So now I know what this is. I meant three serious. Three serious energies here, Sagittarius. Oh my God. Were they at three X's? I don't know where this is going, where Spirit's taking this, but Spirit wants it out, so I'm taking it out. I'll do as Spirit says. So, uh, Sagittarius. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Spirit wants it done this way. We'll do it Spirit's way. Okay, Spirit, clarify this. King of Cups. There's someone else as well. But these are the three main characters here. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. A King of Cups, a King of Swords, and a King of Pentacles. There is also a bunch of other stuff going on. So what's this all about? Oh, Jesus, Sag, you got everybody staring at you. What the hell, Sag? All my exes live in Texas. <laughs> I don't know, Sagittarius. <laughs> You've got everybody staring at you here. You have ex-lovers staring at you. You have family members. You have your exes exes and you have new people all trying to find out about Sagittarius trying to get info on Saggy hmm. why because you have many options so for your past people it is their people that are really interested in you Sag somebody can't let something go one of these exes of this person i don't know is obsessed with you somehow sagittarius your person your past person could be obsessed with you but it's the person around them that is obsessed with you i don't even know if you know these people clarify the king of cups oh hmm. three of swords oh geez this landed on the King of Swords, and this is the Two of Cups. What's going on with the King of Pentacles? Ooh. Hmm. Okay, clarify this. King and Queen of Pentacles. Okay. We have the yeah the okay we're talking about relationships here and the options that are coming into your life sagittarius all these people are spying on you sag clarify the two cups oh my god sag ten of pentacles you have three options here Talk about the King of Cups with the Three of Swords. Ooh. See, somebody can't move on from some kind of uh, heartbreak. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. It's an emperor. Clarify the emperor. Queen of Swords. Okay. And ghosting and apologies. So now we have the King of Cups with the Emperor and the Queen of Swords. Now we have that same King of Swords, a uh, King of Swords with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, a King and Queen of Pentacles with a painful ending and a very hurtful situation. So Sagittarius, your best option, choose wisely, here is this King of Swords. 
if you are the king of swords you are getting a soulmate a long-term soulmate connection clarify the and the second person uh yeah there's somebody going through a divorce here sagittarius the persons that are coming into your life i don't know if they're past people i well we know about the past person in the heartbreak but they can't move on from this heartbreak clarify the queen of swords oh jeez oh oh so this is one nasty ass bitch this is a nasty ass bitch who is out to get Sagittarius like hates on Sag. It is someone who this King of Cups Emperor person may have divorced. They got it out for Sag. Okay? Because this person still is hurt over you they haven't moved on from you so we know who the past person is they're a, they're a wench i'm just saying they're deceptive yes they are and that's the one who is in the jailhouse of the mind this mental imprisonment because they know that your person past person oh jesus there could be 10 sag I don't know, the King of Cups, the Emperor, whoever you viewed as this person. You could be the Emperor, you could be the King of Cups. This is one nasty ass wench. Okay? And it could be talking about the new people that are entering your life, Sagittarius. Whether you're masculine or feminines, you have three options that are really want to present themselves today. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with water and earth placements. But there is, what's going on over here with the King of Pentacles? Mm, yeah, they're very guarded. Mm. Yeah, what's this? Oh, Jesus, Sag. Okay. Mm-hmm. You got a lot of problems going on in your love life, Sagittarius. I'm just saying. You got everybody wanting you, Sagittarius, whether you're masculines or feminines. Um, you've got a king and queen of pentacles that are going through a painful ending because this person is defending you, Sagittarius. So they could be a couple who are going through a painful, bitter divorce or ending and this person is highly attracted to you. There's a lot of fire fire energy here earth and fire these are the people that are coming after sagittarians whether you're masculine or feminine one person has gone through a lot of painful endings this is a painful ending of a relationship this person is defending you, Sagittarius, thinks of you as the most beautiful, handsome person they've ever seen in their life. But this one is looking like your best option. Who is the Two of Cups? Oh, it's the Queen of Cups. So if you're a masculine energy your best choice is this queen of cups someone very loving nurturing this is a long-term relationship if you are my saggies open to love this king of swords seems to be your best option 
I mean, there's one relationship here who is, it's based on all passion. You may have had three significant relationships, Sagittarius, but it's looking like the, I asked what's coming in, so this is what's coming in. There's someone from your past who really hasn't moved on from you. And, and there is a feminine energy who is here, who is stuck in their mind. They're obsessing about, they're very deceptive. You could be the emperor, this king of cups. Okay? These are your options, folks. Sagittarian masculines, uh, feminines. You've got one that has gone through a lot of uh, crap with their spouse. A very painful ending. This person is very protective over you. It is more of a sexual union. Then you have, if you are this king of pentacles, it's looking like a fire sign. Fire with earth. If you're a king of swords, you're looking at Sagittarius as this, or if you are um, and have air in your chart, masculines, this is a queen of cups. They could be very earthy, very loving, very nurturing. Then you have another situation here. That's why spirit's breaking it all up. Sad you masculines, you've got three different feminines. One of these feminines um, is probably not, if you're an emperor, this is an air sign that they could be air. Mm, they're air. And they're going to hurt you. Okay, this could be your ex. I don't know. They haven't moved on. If you are the, this is a masculine energy and you could be a feminine in your masculine energy. Avoid, it's saying this queen of swords uh, doesn't mean they're an air sign, but they are, it could be, they may have a Pisces moon. But they have a lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart and maybe some Virgo. They are mentally, you're going to have problems with this feminine. If you are the feminine Sag, this is your haters. This is the one who hates you, who is spying on you, causing you obstacles and trouble in your life. They could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, Sagi Femmes. Spirit saying you got multiple options here. And three major ones. That's where you're being told to choose wisely. A past person wants to mend things with you. They're dealing with someone who is mentally... deceptive there they are very deceptive and they are there's something mentally wrong with this person they may have divorced this person And now this is a person who wants a long-term connection with you. If you are this King of Swords, and yes, Sagittarian men, you can be the King of Swords. This is someone who is very honest, very sincere, straightforward, straight shooter, doesn't hide nothing. This is a trustworthy individual, very smart, very wise. Your best match here seems to be 
the Queen of Cups, which also can be any sign, but they're just very loving and nurturing, warm. This is your best connection. That's what's coming in. You're going to spend a long time with this person. And then Sagittarian men and Sagittarian femmes or masculines, because roles can be reversed, whoever you are, you may have earth in your chart. You're getting, you're getting some kind of fire sign. That's why Spirit wanted three decks out. You got three choices. This one looks like the best relationship of all. There's mutual love. There's mutual honesty, mutual finances. And it looks like that's your best match. That's why you're being told to choose wisely. You've got someone over here that's cutting you down, Sagittarius. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Strong placements of, of uh, air. It is a probably a karmic feminine. That's the obstacles, the challenges that you're facing right now. You've got three main players out here. And there is nothing wrong with either one of these choices, honestly. One is based upon... You both have similar backgrounds. You both have money. Stability, air and fire, maybe, a, I mean, earth and fire. There's a lot of passion. This person is very protective over you, maybe a little overprotective. Very beautiful, passionate. I mean, there's no question about it. There's passion and, and sex there, okay? Hmm. One is divorced, or they all could be divorced. You know, they have had bad relationships. This one from your past, um, Sagittarius, is not to be trusted, this one. It is because of an ex of theirs. <laughs> it's going to give you a lot of problems. They keep cutting you down. They keep talking about you. They keep cutting you down. And it's making this person be more attracted to you. That is the one who is hoping to mend things with you. Wow. Interesting read, Sagittarius. So you masculines, you've got three major options and you feminines have three major options. This seems to be the one that's giving you the problems <laughs> is your past person. Who they're dealing with could be their ex or the person that they're with or divor divorcing from. Even if they divorce this individual, they're going to haunt you. They got it out for you. They're out for blood. Headache. Depends on how you view it, Sagittarius. Okay, wow, so spirit's being clear, you're going to get a, an opportunity, a new opportunity um, for a long-term happy outcome here. It is new love, but you have three to choose from. So, that's the read for you, Saj. You got major options in love coming in. Choose wisely. These are loves. One is definitely somebody is getting married to. Take care.